Welcome back to Mr. S Travel Quest. And this week's episode, we're counting down our top five Texas state park. Stick around. Texas has plenty of state parks with more than 90 state parks to choose from. Keep in mind, these are our current top five and will change as we continue to visit the other state parks across our great state. Now, here are our top five Texas state parks. Park number five on our list is Dinosaur Valley State Park. Located in the official dinosaur capital of Texas, Glen Rose, Texas. This park has real dinosaur tracks located inside the park. If you or your kids love dinosaur, then this park's a must. This park is great for hiking, viewing dinosaur tracks, and you can even cool off in the river. Isaac, what do you think about this park? Dinosaur Valley State Park was a fun park for my family. We plan on coming back soon, and if you haven't already, give this park a visit. Park number four is a must and surprised us on our visit. The park has over 5,000 acres in the park with plenty to do, like cave tours, biking, hiking, swimming, and camping. This park fills up quickly during the summer months. This park is ranked fourth on our list, and we enjoyed hiking the trails and visiting Gorman Falls. Gorman Falls is a 70-foot spring-fed waterfall. The falls is a must when visiting this park. The park has challenging hiking and biking trails, totaling about 35 miles in all. The park views are amazing all around with unspoiled wilderness. If you haven't already, give this park a visit. Park number three on our list is Pedernales Falls, just 30 miles west of Austin, Texas. This state park is gorgeous with plenty to do from camping, hiking, mountain biking, and horseback riding. Pedernales Falls is a popular Texas state park. We visited this park during the winter and it was packed, but the wide open space made us feel like we had the park to ourselves. You can swim in this park as well to beat the Texas heat. Check out our Pedernales Falls video to learn more about the park. If you made it this far, consider subscribing to the channel. We post state park videos all the time on the channel. Now, let's check out park number two. Lost Maple State Park is park number two on our list. This is one of my personal favorite parks that we visited this year. What else can you see a rock that looks like a monkey? Things to do at this park include camping, fishing, hiking, and stargazing. This park is a top destination to visit in the fall. To see the beautiful fall leaves of Big Tooth Maples. The park has over 10 miles of trails and a beautiful scenic view of a 2,200 foot cliff. This park is amazing and highly recommended coming here when you get a chance. Before we get to our number one park, here's some honorable mentions. Here's our number one pick, Garner State Park. This comes at no surprise for anyone who has been here. Garner State Park is a great place to visit for a swim or a hike or to enjoy a relaxing weekend. With 2.9 miles of the Frio River winding through 1,700 acres of scenic hill country, the park offers lots to see and do. My family enjoyed our visit at Garner State Park and it's one to remember. This park is a CCC park with a dance hall, park store, mini golfing, and candy store. With tons of do inside the park, you're definitely gonna wanna check this one out. I wanna hear from you in the comments below. What are your top five parks? I'm sure this will change as we continue to visit other Texas state parks. 
I want to give a special shout out to Terry from Goldsboro, North Carolina. Thank you, Terry, for watching. Thank you for watching. We recently reached over 200 subscribers on the channel. I enjoy making the content and love hearing from you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.